Wow! Oh my god, this is the view! 32 to 33 Hey everybody! Today we're going hiking in Purisima Creek. We're heading on a 4 hour hike. Going down first and then it will head back up. We'll probably see a creek. I think there's a view of Half Moon Bay as well from the ridge line. So that's pretty nice. And I'll keep count of the number of banana slugs I see. I'm gonna just focus on having fun because this is my first solo hike. So this is one of the most popular Bay Area hikes and I'm here to check it out for myself. It is a weekday morning, Friday 10.17am. Alright, so let's go! Part of my New Year's resolution is to go on more adventures by myself. These are fairly popular trails so I'm not too worried and they are very well documented and have very good signs. But of course I'm going to try to learn some things about how to stay safe. We're at this junction here. I'm gonna continue taking the North Ridge Trail goes around the outside before we join the Whittemore Gulch Trail down here. The water reservoir is actually inside my bag and it goes through a tube like this and it has this thing where if you bite it will break the seal and water comes out but you do have to uh, suck on it a bit you can also lock this mechanism if you don't want that to happen so it's really nice because I don't have to stop for water now I just go like hmm. When I first saw the, the ocean, I was thinking, wow, oh my god, this is the view. But then I realized, it's just gonna be this beautiful along this stretch. And at the rate I'm taking videos, I'm gonna be here forever. Such a nice sunny day. I can see why this place was really popular during the pandemic. It's a nice view. Compared to staying in your house, you know that quote? Oh, I saw all you granola girlies going on your stupid mental health walks. So I went on my own mental health walk. And guess what? This slaps! No? Never heard before? We need to get onto the Whitmore Gulch. I need to check Google Maps for this. It looks like a messy ball of lines here. Okay, so yes, we go down this way. Noted, I am not a horse, I am not a bike. Let's go. Ah, the sea. This beats Windy Hill, I think. I look like a baby when I do that, right? But it's so fun. But also, I think I'm ingesting a lot of air. I'm gonna be burping a lot. You know, Marik showed me a video of polar bears yesterday, and then it was talking about how polar bears, even though they have white fur, Inside, their skin is black. They have 10 centimeters of fat to insulate them from the cold. I'm in a polar bear outfit now. Agree? By the way, if I'm not wrong, those things are either poison ivy or poison oak. Like, they grow in little clusters of threes. And in fall, they turn a nice shade of red. But don't touch it, because it's going to make your hand itch. Butterfly. The monarchs. You know these monarchs, they fly around when it's warm and they cluster together in little bunches when it's cold, especially in the morning. Yeah, it's probably warm now, that's why you're flying. Make sure to not step on them, they are so fragile. Sometimes I feel like I'm in an anime. You know, with things falling from the trees, the breeze blowing like that. You know, the last thing I want to hear is the sound of a woman's cry. Do you know why? Apparently, mountain lions sound like 
hysterical women screaming and it's very horrific. I saw an Instagram reel once, some guy was explaining the sound that he was hearing. And if you ever see a mountain lion, I don't think they're really seen much around here. In some other hikes, you might have a bigger warning for mountain lions. But what you're supposed to do is don't turn your back on the mountain lion. Try to appear big. You know, like take out things that you have in your bag to like flail around so they know that you are capable of inflicting harm. So my plan is to use this selfie stick I'm holding. I'm going to shout. If I run out of things to shout, I'll start singing like really loudly. You know, songs that you need to belt. Oh, I got stopped by a big tree. We're heading down to Persima Creek and we might see some tree stumps. Look at how that thing stretched out and then grew upwards. My guess is it fell and then it was like, no, I'm not gonna die. That is philosophical and we need to adopt this mindset. There are a lot of trails here named something something gulch. Which makes me wonder now, what is the meaning of gulch? It's been about an hour, so it's time to grab a snack. I brought three snacks for each of the one hour breaks we have. And then I have lunch at home, so we're gonna eat this. I need to stop counting for now and just keep walking. We're almost at 30 banana slugs, but I start hearing this whistling sound. I'm a bit nervous. I don't know if there's someone behind me. Ah, 30, 30, 30. 4, 32, 33. That looks scary. Alright, let's play obstacle course. When we head this way, we are going to meet the creek that's flowing on the left side and then we'll be kind of walking along the creek, I think, to go back. So after that quick toilet stop, we are going to the Harkins Ridge Trail which is straight up ahead. Okay, what is this? Whose wise idea was it to go up and make a trail? I'm heading this way. sign is very nice to have, thank you very much. I 
I guess this is the last we'll see of the creek. We are heading up, uphill all the way to the end for about two hours and we're gonna gain about 500 meters of elevation. That was probably the lowest part of the trail. It has been easy until now. I've removed my layers because we're gonna sweat. Ah, first snack. Let's get some snacks first. Okay, we're finally seeing the ocean again. Look, such green grass. Mushrooms. Let's go. So, we're now at this point where the road splits to this Craig Britain Trail. But we want to stay on Harkins Ridge Trail. Okay, Harkins Ridge Trail is this way, so we're going left. Okay, another hour has passed. Let's grab another snack. So we have nuts also. I believe I am at this fork. The one on the left is this dotted line. I should go on this one. 161 BPM. So I'm recording just from the lowest to the highest point. And right now we are at 514 meters elevation gain. 5.12 kilometers. It's been one and a half hours. And we are done. Alright. It's time to stop the workout. Okay, so summary, I took slightly less than 4 hours, something like 3 hours and 15 minutes but I did stop to take a lot of videos The hike, I don't think it's hard Nothing was technical, there were no tricky river crossings It was broad paths, not very slippery A few slightly muddy sections but I wouldn't be worried So this is a very very nice hike It's one of my favourites so far in the Bay Area and if you're looking for a weekend hike do come here, come early When I was heading back I bumped into people who were also starting their hikes. I can only imagine how crowded it gets on the weekend. So some tips, do bring enough water because some parts are not shaded. In winter, it was still fine, but if you're coming during the warmer seasons, do drink a lot of water, bring snacks, and also if you need help with your knees, I would suggest bringing trekking poles. They would really help. It's not too steep. Uh, there are some deeper sections but it's not like you have to kind of go on on your butt or anything it's walkable it's still walkable yeah i saw two elderly ladies walking together with their trekking poles and i thought that was really nice anyway come here for nice wooded forest very calm in the creek and you get to see um half moon bay you get to see the ocean you can even see the waves crashing at mavericks beach it is lovely. You can find more details on my blog, whereasjanice.com. I'll include the link in the description so you can read all about it with photos and other information you will need like the parking locations and all that. Alright, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.